In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the blend diff sliders in Photoshop. When combining the power of blend diff sliders and blending mode, there's no better way to blend layers together. Hey everybody, this is Charles Cabrera, helping you get started with Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography. If you like short and easy tutorials, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Let's get started. So to get to the blend diff options, there's two different ways. You can come up here to layer, layer style and blending options and bring up the, all the options for blend diff, or we can double click on the layer just like this. We're going to be dealing with just these blend diff sliders down here, right here where it says blend diff. We're going to be dealing with luminosity only. So we'll, we will be using the gray. So these sliders here represent the luminosity spectrum of the layer and this layer right here we're going to be talking about first exactly called this layer is the luminosity spectrum of the selected layer which is this top one right here so let's see what this does so when i move the slider on the left for this layer you can see that it is already moving it removes the darkest part of the image and if i come to this right side and move it it's going to remove the the lightest part of the image. So lightest part is usually highlights or lightest part of the image. And this slide over here, the darkest part is usually the shadows. What you can also do is hold the alt or the option key and split the slider. And it makes kind of a graduated or feathered edge right there so you get a, a smooth transition. You can also do this on the right hand side. You can see the, the feathering there. Sliders control visibility. So this was just an example of using this, this layer, sliders, and what it, that can do for you. Now, for the most part, when you use blend if, you're going to be using the underlying layer. So when we work with the underlying layer, it's going to affect all the layers below. Okay. In this example, I want to add some colors to the lighter parts of the sky. So we're going to do that with blend if, but first I'm going to create a new layer and on this layer, I need to paint a color. Um, Let's choose something that's getting into the orange here. Okay. And with the brush, oh, I'm going to put my flow around 20 and paint just in these areas. Okay. And now I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light, double click on my layer style here. And in this case, I'm working with the underlying layer. And so I had the layer two here above selected. So the underlying layer is affected by the layer above. So underlying layer being layer one. So I'm going to move the slider on the left. And so when I do that, it's going to protect the shadows and allow the effect from the layer above to only affect the highlights. So I'm going to move this slider over, move this out of the way, and we can see that it's only going to be in my highlights that I am making a change. Say, okay, go back and check my blend modes. I think soft light or overlay. I might like overlay like all that color. I think I'll create another layer and I'm going to paint with another color. You can hear the light areas. Just paint all over the place. Double click to bring up my blend if sliders. And again, I just want to affect the lighter areas in the image. I'm going to split this and it's just affecting my highlights. 
and I'm going to change my blend mode. Want overlay or soft light? Yeah, soft light. So now maybe I want to make the shadows another color or a little bit darker maybe. So I'm going to create a new layer and let's choose this color here. And I'm going to paint on the darker areas just in here and double click to bring up my blend if options. So this time I want to protect the shadows and have this effect that I just colored or painted only apply to the shadows. So again, I'm just going to split alt option, split my slider and just bring it to something I like. Say OK. So that time I moved the slider on the right and it protected the highlights and it allowed the effect from the layer above to only affect the shadows or the darker parts of the image. I'm going to group these three layers. There's before and there's the after. And I can and I can change the opacity on this whole group if I want to change make it a little bit less intense. You never know what colors are going to be in the sky, but let's move on to some more examples. In this next example, I want to show you how you can use Blend If to sharpen in certain areas. Like in this case, I just want to sharpen the rocks and the rocks are darker than everywhere else. So I'm actually going to be sharpening in the shadows. So I'm going to make a copy of this layer, Command J, and I'm going to sharpen this layer with the other high pass. And I'm going to keep it radius about 1.3. I want a lot of sharpening. And I'm going to come down here to linear light, change my blend mode. And I'm going to zoom in here so you see those rocks have a lot of sharpening. But then again, so does everything else. It sharpened the whole image. It sharpened the water, uh, sharpened the sky, maybe introduced some noise in the sky. And so we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to double click. Now remember, we have a layer here that we did a sharpening. And our slider here on the right hand side is going to protect our lighter areas. So all the sharpening that comes down is not going to be affected in the lighter areas and it's going to stay in the shadows. I'm going to start by splitting my slider and bringing this over. And so now let's check this out. If I click on and off, I am just affecting my shadows or the rocks. And I do not see sharpening in the water or anywhere else. Any of the lighter areas. So that is how we basically sharpened selectively in the shadows. Again, we brought over this, the sliders and protected the lighter areas and just this area right here and the underlying layer is where the sharpening is visible. I'm going to add more highlights and shadows. So let's create a new layer and let's start with highlights. I'm going to paint with white in the highlight areas here. And I'm not being particularly careful because blend if is going to take care of everything for us. And to bring up the blend if double click on the layer. And we are going to come over here to the, and protect the shadows. So I'm going to take this slider over to the right 
and I'm going to split the slider with the Alt or Option and adjust this till I see that I am liking it. And I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. And say OK. Now, if that's too much, I can just use my opacity. And there we've increased the highlights. So let's go for the shadows now. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to change my brush so I paint with black. And on that layer, I'm going to paint black where there are shadows. And again, you don't have to be super careful because you've got blend if that's going to help you just make this black show up in the shadows. Double click on the, on the layer to bring up the layer style. And here we go. Let's go from the right side and we're going to protect the highlights this time. And I'm going to press Alt or Option and split the slider and bring this over. I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. Bring this slider over some more. And say OK. And you can see that I've changed some of those highlights and the shadows. So there's the highlights. Here's the shadow. If I need to change anything, I might make that a little bit darker there. Say OK. Again, if I think that's too much, I can change my opacity on my shadow layer. But there we go. And I'm going to group these two together. And here is the before, here's the after. A great use, a blend if for dodge and burning. Okay, so now let's have a little fun with this blend if stuff. Let's add some clouds to this sky here. I'm going to make a new layer here or a copy of the background layer, Command J. I'm going to turn this background layer off. We are going to remove the blue out of the highlights. We've been using the underlying layer sliders, but this one, we're going to use this layer, which is the current layer that is highlighted. So we're going to use the blue channel and we're going to move the slider and slowly, but surely, as we remove the blue from the highlights, the sky is gone. And as you can see, there's other areas here that were, were selected and, and some of the highlights came out of there, but we're going to take care of that later. I'm going to say, okay, now let's bring in a sky. I've got that right here. I'm going to bring that in. There is our sky. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the areas where we see the sky coming in through the background layer. I'm going to make a copy of the background layer. And I'm going to put that above the sky layer and put a layer mask. Alt option and click my add layer mask. And now I'm going to paint with white on that layer mask on the mountains. And so just like that, we used blend if bring in a sky where we had complete blue sky and now we have clouds. So now question of the day, did you already know about the blend if sliders? And if so, what's your favorite use of blend if let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, give a like, 
and don't forget to subscribe. If you want more short Photoshop tutorials, see the ones above. And remember, it's never too late to learn. See you in the next video. Thank you.